You have a very enormous challenge, but very important one in front of you. Um, Secretaries Blinken and Pompeo both said that the CCP is committing genocide against the Uyghur Muslim population. Last month, this committee uh, marked up uh, a bill I introduced along with uh, Chairman Meeks condemning this genocide. You recently said that uh, uh, we're quoted saying we have other differences on human rights, but those that should not get in the way of something that is critical as dealing with climate. And I know you can try to compartmentalize it. The problem is it's, it's, it's intertwined because when you look at the supply chain, you look at China, they dominate the cr critical mineral supply and solar supply chains all coming out of the Xinjiang province, which um, we believe is using slave labor to create these renewable energy sources. So my question to you is, um, how can you assure us or ensure that, that, that this uh, quest that we're on, uh, that, that slave labor coming out of China, where genocide is taking place as we speak, are never a part of the climate solution in the United States? Uh, you're absolutely correct. Uh, Ranking Member McCall, you're, uh, it is a problem. Xinjiang province not only produces some of the solar panels that we believe are being, in some cases, produced in forced labor by Uyghurs, but also um, uh, there are a significant amount of uh, uh, rare earth mineral that's used in the solar panels themselves. Uh, it is my understanding that the Biden administration is right now in the process of assessing whether or not that will be the target of sanctions. Um, I've heard some discussion about it. I'm not privy to where that decision is at this point in time. Uh, 